Hello and welcome to our roundtable today. We are defining a core set of GIS methodologies for business application. It's great to have you all with us. So to launch our roundtable today, I'd like to welcome and thank our primary participants here today. Dr. Joe Aversa from Ryerson, Dr. Evan Cleef, also from Ryerson, Gary Gruco from Signet Jewelers, Brett Lucas from City of Cheney, Washington, and myself, Murray Rice from the University of North Texas. Uh, I thank each and every one of our participants, and I thank you for joining us as well. Uh, I'm looking forward to a, a good conversation on some uh, subject matter that I think we all care about, given that we're in the room here. So uh, I just want to start out by uh, defining the context for this discussion here today. There's a great need for dis discussion. Uh, GIS is powerful and businesses and other organizations have caught on to that over the years. And uh, that part of the power follows from just the, the great many options that we have available to us as GIS analysts and business geographers. But this power is not without concern. There's a number of areas that we can point to as, as being areas of question, especially related to uh, folks like myself and the folks from Ryerson who are uh, trying to teach and mentor this. So the quality of planning for research, and I would emphasize both the words quality and planning in that, uh, related to that, the appropriateness of the match between problem and method. Are we using a hammer and everything looks like a nail? Uh, so to what degree is that happening? And then ultimately, the final interpretation of the analytical results. Are we actually interpreting them properly and completely? So that's a, a bit of need for, for discussion. So a key building block for this session that kind of provoked me in thinking about this topic was uh, my writing of a handbook over the past summer that uh, is, is still in pre-publication review and revision stage. I'm just starting to use it in my classes. So let me just uh, show you the cover here, Business GIS Methods and Applications. And it's really a handbook. It's just a reference guide. And so the reference guide really fits in a specific place. So just to define a little bit more about this book and how this relates to the session, we just talked about three concerns. So this handbook was created in response, and there's really a couple of aims that come out of the book. First of all, I was trying in the book to identify a concise listing of foundational methods that could be thought of as basic building blocks for analysis. So in this way, I really have the visualization of Lego. And if you think of Lego, how it, Lego blocks can be combined in multiple ways to produce some amazing structures. And so I'm thinking of these foundational methods in the same kind of a way. So that's number one. And number two, sound pathways to put the building blocks together so that we create rigorous analytical solutions. There's so many problems that businesses face. And so can we think of sound ways in which we can navigate the analytical landscape to meet those business needs? So just to give you an idea here of what is in the book, I wanna show you the table of contents. And in particular, I do wanna focus on uh, this one section. There's eight foundational methods. You can see them there, um, but there's the eight foundational methods that I identified and saying, these are the basic building blocks that I saw. And so that's, that's part of the rationale for the, the session today is just thinking about these particular eight methods. So let's let's move along to the session itself. What are we doing in today's panel? We're, we're looking at, at the application environment. We're trying to understand how GIS is, is being used today. And even more broadly, I'd like us to move through our discussion uh, to an understanding of how we might mentor and instruct new professionals in this way of creating good and suitable solutions that combine methodologies that are appropriate to the problems that they face in their applied 
context. So that's the overall aim. A little bit of key context, and then I'll get out of the way here. One thing I'd like us to be thinking about, and a little bit of pre-processing we did with the panel a few weeks ago, we were just acknowledging that there's a, a great growth in geospatial technologies in business. Business is really coming around. And so we could subdivide this in a, in a couple of ways. There's the traditional GIS application software packages, ArcGIS, Maptitude, MapInfo. So all of these are well established and focused on geospatial analysis. But there's also this uh, cloud of other software packages, geo-enabled analytical and visualization software that's so intriguing for so many of us right now. Alteryx, we have some power users uh, in the panel today. Uh, Alteryx is certainly popular and extremely powerful. Tableau, R, we could probably add to that list, but those are the major players right there. And so we just need to acknowledge that this is a diverse application env environment, right? Um, so in that context, there's a danger in which we could become software adept, but geographically ill-equipped. So we're really good at the software uh, in, in terms that my little community uses with buttonology or buttonologists. We know what buttons to push to do something, but is it actually the right choice to make that uh, choice of a methodology? Uh, are we making sound choices in the context of geography and geographic thinking? So a few questions, and this is just to start our discussion. Who knows where it'll go from here, but uh, three questions. So going back to the handbook, did the handbook get the roster of core methodologies right? Are there any missing, any listed that should not be there? So that's kind of a low level question, very specific. And if the, if the, we wish to address it, that's great. If we move along to the other questions, that's great too. So question number two, technical software skills are great, but is spatial thinking and interpretation being done well by business? Love to get some input on that. And number three, how can we best develop deep competence in actual problem solving based on a true understanding of spatial data and methods? So that's another one. So with that, there's the introduction. Let's get to the, the round table and our, our participants and eventually some input from everyone in on, on this meeting. So let's do that now.